Mr. Kennedy, again, my apologies for not being there in person. I trust you found the key okay? Yeah. I just wish you never insisted on leaving it in such an obvious place. Your grandmother's disappearance must be causing you and your family a great deal of strain. But unfortunately, we just can't keep the house vacant any longer. Yeah, I understand that. Mr. Kennedy, I'm really sorry about putting you in this position. What happens to the stuff that I leave behind? The rest of your grandmother's belongings will be either given to charity or disposed of. It's company policy, I'm afraid. I'll be happy tomorrow. Just take all the time you need. Thanks. I'll give you a phone when I'm done. Hello. Oh, hope this blasted machine is still working. If anyone is listening to this, you are either having a good laugh at my expense, or oh, God forgive, something terrible has happened to me. I really don't know what to do. The noises are starting to get worse. To begin with, I just thought it was my mind playing tricks on me. Now I'm not too sure. Jonathan, God bless him. He used to be obsessed by strange noises coming from this house. The old fool was convinced the house was haunted. I have to admit, I'm starting to think he wasn't far off the truth. I just can't explain what is happening anymore. Everybody seems to think I've gone completely mad. To be honest, I'm beginning to think I really have lost my mind. I'm convinced. 
convinced that I'm hearing noises coming from inside the house now. I can't tell, but it always sounds like someone is moving around. I think there might be somebody up in the attic. I tried phoning Margaret yesterday. Oh, she's so busy with her work. I'm not sure I want to burden her with this nonsense. I haven't left the house for two days now. I keep the house shutters down permanently, but it doesn't seem to put my mind at rest. Last night, I woke to find the attic stairs pulled down. I just can't explain it. This is starting to get ridiculous. The noises are starting to happen during the day now. It almost sounds like someone is walking about up there. I am too scared to go up and investigate. This might sound crazy, but I'm thinking about getting Jonathan's old shotgun. I know this is probably a stupid idea, so I don't even know how to use the blasted thing. I've decided. I'm going to go up into the attic and have a look around. God knows what's up there in that attic, but I have an awful feeling I'm about to find out. Thinking about getting Jonathan's old shotgun. 
Mm-hmm. 